bring it into the fund. So go ahead, Walt. Hey, guys. Well, I don't know if you remember a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the deal that I said was just our bread and butter. It was the perfect deal for the company. Sure. Met all the criteria. And this is kind of the opposite of that. But the end is justified. <laughs> the end is justified. Yeah, this one, you know, it, it came across, and this is a testament to why you analyze every deal, why you take the time to really go in and and uh, look at the numbers. Project, as you said, it's a small deal. Uh, it is in the Tampa Bay MSA, one of our favorite areas. Now, the project is only eight units, but it's a one-of-a-kind waterfront property, and it provides premier beach access. And they're not building any more of that. There's only so much uh, coastline, even in Florida. Now, this property is actually located in one of the most prestigious Tampa Bay neighborhoods. It is within a three-minute walk to uh, St. Petersburg's really famed Fourth Street Corridor. Now, that's a place you could go. You could shop. You could dine. Uh, you could You could find all different types of entertainment there. It's an amazing, amazing place. The property is actually a single two-story building, contains eight one-bedroom apartments. Now, it was built in 1986, but the property went through a complete, very extensive structural and mechanical res renovation in 2019. Now, I'll talk about that here in a minute. And that brought it up to the current building standards. Now, that renovation also included interior improvements to all of the units. So new flooring, new kitchens, new bathrooms in the, in the units. Now let's talk about the repositioning. I gotta tell you the story of how this thing came to be. It was originally built back in 1986 as a waterfront condominium. One of the owners, uh, a, a gentleman who was actually, I did a little research, he was a Delta pilot, retired there with his wife in 2008. Uh, and, you know, they they were very, very happy in, in the unit. When they saw the drop in market values that happened across the country, but particularly in the Gulf Coast region in 08, they actually decided to start buying up the other units as they came available. Uh, by 2010, they had acquired all seven other units as well as as well as well owning theirs, and they decided to turn them into vacation rentals. So he actually operated this as kind of a, like a uh, oversized bed and breakfast and uh, operated very, very successfully. You know, I was looking at uh, some of the information they had on it. He had nice brochures put up, had a waiting list of people that wanted to be involved in this. Unfortunately, uh, he passed away in 2018. His wife had passed away a couple years prior. The property was divided amongst his family members, and they decided to go out and hire a contractor and do the uh, much needed renovations on the property. And that's what happened in 2019 when they came in and really went to town on it and, and rebuilt it from the ground up. Now, since that time, that property has sat empty. They really don't know what to do with the property. They're from the Chicago area. Um, you know, they've come down, they've stayed in it, but they realized very quickly that there's more to be had by, by you know, liquidating it and they'd rather have the cash than the cash producing asset because they just don't want that, that management uh, issue. They were referred to us. We went, took a look at the property and underwrote it and it is a phenomenal deal. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to acquire this property for 990,000. Improvements will be completed in less than a month. We're going to be able to shift this into cash production mode very, very quickly, definitely within a 90-day period of time. So let's talk about the numbers on this one. This one's going to give us cash on cash projected uh, returns here, targeted return 12.82% for year one. That's going to increase to almost 16% by year five. Total rate of return 21.62%. It gives us an equity multiple on this one of 2.37 times. Beautiful. Yeah, I just, you know, I just absolutely love this one. I, it is. I, and you shared some of the pictures with me and the location itself demands demands acquisition. You know, I, you could you could take this one and, and actually pay a little more for it. I know that's a hard thing for me to say out loud because <laughs> it goes against my investor mentality. But, you know, when real estate still is location, 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 no matter whether we're buying. You know, I was looking at um, the one that we underwrote last week, you know, 90 units coming in. And then the following week, we're, we're here with a little 80 unit, which is just as exciting. Uh, sorry, eight unit, which is just as exciting as, as some of those 90s or 45s that we've underwritten. So great job, Walter. I'm 